Hey guys, welcome back to Zach's Food Channel. Um, vegan cheese. How does it taste? I've also got some like regular cheese here to um, compare it to. This thing was like six bucks at the grocery store, which if you think about it actually isn't that expensive compared to like um, this goat cheese. So basically it's a cruelty free cheese. But how does it taste? First time opening. Oh, it, it, you can just do a little perforation. Okay, never mind. Well, here's the slice. Feels like real cheese. It even smells like real cheese, actually. That's kind of insane. Fermented tofu. Made of carotene. Olive extract? Yeah, it smells like sort of Swiss cheese. And uh, to be honest, it doesn't feel too different either. So without further ado, let's uh, let's appetit bon. Wow, 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 wow. Frankly, that tastes a, a lot like cheese, actually. It's insane. It doesn't have any sugar in it. I mean, it's got everything else. But yeah, if you're a vegan, get this. The, this is good stuff. Yeah, but you see right there? Grilled cheese. Let's try and make a grilled cheese with these guys. All right, so here's our pan. Here's our olive oil. Here's our bread. It's pretty good bread. Here's our plate. So, um, yeah, we should be ready to go. Look at this. Just by sheer luck, they're the same weight. All right, now, so let's try and grilled cheese some vegan cheese. Now, I kind of wish I wasn't using the butt of the bread for this, but that was literally the last piece of bread. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Alright, so the vegan cheese definitely looks to be melting a little bit. No, no! Okay. We're good. I'm just gonna turn the heat up. I'm just gonna turn the heat up for more chaos. I also need salt, don't, don't it? Oh wow, it even created a little cheese crisp. Look at that. I'm just gonna leave them go to sleep for a little bit. When they smoke, you know they're done. Yeah, definitely, it is, it's done. All right, so here's our, here's our, here's our grilled cheese sandwiches. All right, so um, here they are. One of them significantly more burnt than the other one. I don't know how. This one looks edible, and this one looks edible to me. But I like really burnt toast, so I don't know. Who will be the victor? I, I have no clue. Let's just try the regular cheddar one first, okay? Mm. A fair bit of cheese pulled there. Crazy. Mm. All right, our vegan cheese has some real competition to um, to, to be. But can it? it? Certainly tastes like a better grilled cheese, in my opinion. The cheese is a bit softer. It's just it just doesn't have that sort of cheese pull stretch thing. Just uh, let that wait in there. That's some grilled cheese, the re the real one that I had. Okay, here's our boys, all fully melted up. Probably put this guy in a sanitary place, honestly. Okay, well here's our here's our new grilled cheeses, and uh, the bread is immediately made floppy. Okay, that's not very good. But how's the cheese pull now? Oh, it's there. It's not as good though. And the cheese pull on this one isn't there either, so maybe I just overdid it in the microwave. I don't know. So yeah, chow, cow, bow. This stuff, I'm nothing against it. It's 
vegan, zero carbon stuff, hippie stuff. It isn't bad. It actually tastes pretty good. I mean, sadly, it doesn't melt the way it should. So I will have to dock it points for that, but yeah, overall, Chow Creamery is gonna get a four and a half out of five, honestly. This cheese I actually got from Costco. It's like party cheese. I had a party the other day. It was fun. Yeah, it was good, actually. So in summary, you should buy this. Oh, you should buy this. I will say that it is not as good as regular cheese on the protein spectrum, but um. It tastes like it, I guess. It, it, it's good. All right, anyways, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.